Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews. Today, I'm talking about how to find American-made products and how to tell if a product you're looking at is made in the USA. I'm going to be talking about the rules and regulations that the FTC has on using made in the USA language, American-made phrasing and imagery to look out for, some best practices on checking the country of origin, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be debunking some common myths on finding the country of origin. I've also written about this exact same topic, so check in the description below for a link to that article. And if you're passionate about buying American-made products, like this video, subscribe to our channel, Head over to allamericanreviews.com. You'll find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American-made. Let's get started on how to tell if a product is made in the USA. First, I'm going to cover the rules and regulations that the FTC has on products using made in the USA language. FTC stands for Federal Trade Commission. They are tasked with preventing and bringing action against unfairness and misleading information in the market. Their number one priority is protecting us, the American consumer. Due to the FTC Act of 1914, they are allowed to bring legal action against companies that present any sort of false or misleading information, and that includes claims that their products are made in the USA. Here are the things that you need to know about the FTC's policies around made in the USA claims. The first is the use of the phrase all or virtually all. In order to advertise that a product is made in the USA, the FTC requires that the product be all or virtually all made in the US. Now, that's a pretty broad claim, so let's break it down. One, the assembly of the product must take place in the US. And two, a significant amount of the total manufacturing cost must come from US parts and processing. Obviously, these two requirements are very vague and subjective, which is why each case is evaluated individually. For example, if the knobs of a grill are imported, but the rest of the product is sourced in the US, those knobs can be considered a negligible amount of the final product, and therefore the manufacturer can say that their product is made in the USA. However, let's say that they import their grill grates too. That part is considered to be too integral to the final product, which affects their ability to market themselves as made in the USA. In that case, they may use an alternative phrase like made in the USA with international materials or something similar, but more on that later. Second thing to know about the FTC policy is compliance. One of the biggest things that you have to know about made in the USA advertising is that the use of the phrase is in no way pre-approved by the FTC before a company uses it. It is up to the individual company to determine their compliance with FTC regulations and use made in the USA language on their products and in their marketing. Look for supporting evidence to their claim. Do they have content, images, or videos from their American production plants? Do they list other information about the country of origin on their materials? These types of signals can help you substantiate their claims. We'll get into more of those signals here in a minute. The third and final thing that you need to know about the FTC policy on Made in the USA language is their review and legal action system. There is zero formal system of proactive review by the FTC against Made in the USA claims. They only launch an investigation if there are allegations or complaints brought against a certain company. From there, they can investigate and form a lawsuit. The lack of pre-built systems here is alarming. The FTC has done an okay, not great job of cracking down on some of the major brands like Weber Grills and Tyson Foods over the years on these types of claims. This is especially true when we as consumers raise our concerns as a community, but we have to be vocal. However, the lack of structure here is not particularly helpful when you're trying to evaluate a company that they haven't launched an investigation against. With that in mind, let's go through some tips on how to identify American-made products yourself. First and foremost, check the wording. There are a bunch of common phrases used in marketing materials that can mean slightly different things. So look out for four things in particular. First, made in America versus made in the USA language. You should look for products that say made in the USA on their product packaging, website, or other marketing materials. The key part of that phrase, USA. 
The phrase made in America can also sometimes include Canada and Mexico because of our free trade agreement with those two countries. Second, be wary of the verbs that they are using in their American made claims. Are they using made or assembled? Using the word made typically is more all-inclusive of both raw materials and production. Assembled typically means that their production process is US-based, but they get their materials and parts from overseas. In some industries, that can mean a lack of quality or even worse, health risks. Third, look out for qualifiers for their made in the USA language. Oftentimes, companies may add modifiers to their made in the USA claims because they can't fully justify by only saying made in the USA. This is a tip off that potentially a good chunk of their production process is performed elsewhere, whether that is in labor or materials. DeWalt is a good example here. They say made in the USA with global materials, tipping us off that they are not sourcing the parts for their tools in the US. Fourth, be very wary of stickers and symbols in general. Just because a product has an American flag sticker does not mean it is made in the USA. These stickers are actually not regulated by the US government, so many companies use them as a feel-good tactic. Now that I've covered wording, let's move on to some tips for finding the country of origin. The first is to check the product label. On the physical products, made in the USA language can typically be found in a few spots. On the price tag, imprinted near the barcode, engraved somewhere on the product, or the cleaning instructions tag for clothing. Clothing and textiles are actually one of the few industries where the FTC requires that the manufacturer list the country of origin. Automobiles are the other big category here. Before we go any further, I wanna debunk a common myth. There is a common myth that floats around stating that you can tell where a product has been manufactured by simply looking at the UPC or EAN barcode. That is false. All barcodes originate from the GS1 or the global language of business. When a company purchases barcodes from them or another third party retailer, the barcodes indicate where the company originated, not necessarily where the product is manufactured. GS1 issues the first few digits on the barcode to identify them, and then it's up to the manufacturer to generate the rest of the digits on the barcode as they see fit to help identify their products. Additionally, the GS1 is a company, not a government agency. Okay, enough of that. Back to our tips for finding the country of origin. If you don't have the product in front of you, check their website. The country of origin could be on their About Us page, their FAQ page, but most likely it's gonna be on their product pages. Under sections like description, specs, and FAQs is where companies typically list their country of origin, like this example from Snap-on Tools. If they don't list their country of origin on their website, check Amazon. Oftentimes, manufacturers will explicitly state where their products are made in a couple of different sections here. One is in the bullet points at the top of the page next to the product image. They'll also often list the country of origin in the product information section further down the page. Another good place to check here is their customer FAQs further down the page. A lot of times, people have questions about where these products are made and other consumers are chiming in with their answers. Oftentimes though, companies aren't super clear anywhere online or in their other materials about where their products are made. That is when a good old fashioned phone call can do the trick. Try to get a hold of someone in their sales or marketing department. Typically, their customer service representatives are not going to know enough to give you a straight answer. And of course, you can always shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we'll find out for you and write something up. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and thanks for supporting our country in shopping American made. See y'all next time.